But yeah, I just went ahead and filled everything in because everything's uh, pretty much uh, easy from the last video. So talking about Luke, we know that for Luke's, uh, Luke's consumer surplus, it's just this uh, green highlighted part below his individual demand curve and above the market price, which is the, the red line. And I've labeled everything here. And uh, we know how to get the market demand curve uh, that is pretty much the sum of uh, the individual demand curves, which is Abby's curve and Luke's curve. And everything below the market demand curve and above the market price is the consumer surplus for the entire market. So at a dollar per burger, the consumer surplus for the economy is the area under the market demand curve, which is our blue curve, and above the market price, which is our red curve. Summed over the 40 burgers, which uh, we have uh, labeled here. And so at a dollar per, per burger, Abby spends $30, Nick spends $10. Together, they spend a total of $40. Now, the consumer surplus is the value from the burgers uh, in excess of the expenditure on it. Now, that is a little confusing at first, but I'm just going to take a little time to explain it. So uh, the best example is using Abby's graph because it's so detailed. So let's use Abby's graph. This blue line we know is the individual demand curve for Abby, and this red line is the market price. So let's look at it this way. This uh, blue individual demand curve is the total that Abby is willing to pay. So yeah, at $2, Abby is willing to pay, or at 10 burgers for the 10th burger, Abby is willing to pay $10 or, or $2. Yeah, so. Sorry, at 10th burger, Abby is willing to pay $2. Okay, so we got that dude, got that down. So this blue part is the part that Abby has to pay. So Abby would have to pay, have to pay a dollar, the market price, for her burgers. And that is the blue part. But then she values her burgers, uh, at, well, she values her 10th burger at $2. But at, but at the current market price, she only has to pay a dollar for the burger. So at her 10th burger, Abby actually has a discount of a dollar because she values her burger, her 10th burger at $2, but she's actually getting it for a dollar. So this green part is actually her discount. This green highlighted part under the triangle, that's her discount. And this blue rectangle that we have here is the money that Abby has to pay for her burger, which is a dollar. So that's what I mean that when I say that the consumer surplus is the value from burgers in excess of the expenditure on it, because our expenditure is the blue highlighted part and our consumer surplus is this green triangle, which is the value uh, in excess of the, uh, of the blue triangle, which is the expenditure. And you can see that I've labeled this blue rectangle expenditure, labeled uh, the green as consumer surplus and labeled the red line as the market price. That's all I want to go through for consumer surplus. I hope uh, you understand the video. I think I made it clear enough, but uh, if not, then you can watch it again or leave comments. And uh, that's all for today. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.